Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. And a couple of uh, videos back, I uh, recorded the, what the, uh, the new area over just across this field where they're going to be building houses. So that's been a while, so I thought I'll go see what's going on over there now. And then we'll come back over here to my house and we'll follow some planes using AirSense on the Air2S uh, drone. So uh, while we're doing this, I'll tell you, I'll continue my story about uh, spending the summer in California. And for those that didn't get the intro, uh, my folks said they'd pay my way to college. And so at the end of my uh, freshman year, uh, I went to California to help uh, to work with my cousin. And uh, that was going to help pay for uh, expenses. And <clears throat> so anyway, um, as you can see, it looks like they're just watering the ground to keep the dust down or for some other reason but anyway so went down there and um, uh, I worked for an outfit called Go Power and my cousin Chester was the was the foreman in the shop and so uh, we worked together and he was he was a super guy and I'll talk more about him later or in another video anyway so my first job on the first day at work they had this bin of about 200 uh, manifold pieces for they were hop up parts for go for go karts back in the days when that was the craze, and so uh, I had to like mill off each end because they were just raw castings, and make them make them flat so that they would match up with the carburetor and the uh, and the engine. So and this was going to make them run hotter, I suppose. Anyway, so <clears throat> uh, I worked and I, when when it was closing time, I had about half of them done, and of course there were shavings all over the floor. And we were closing up, and my my uh, cousin Chester came up to me, and he said, aren't you going to clean up the mess? Here's where I learned a very important life lesson. <laughs> he, I, said, I said, no, I'm going to be finishing it up tomorrow. And he said, that's not how we do things around here. And uh, so I'll never forget that because uh, uh, that is a good good lesson in life. You clean up, and then when you come back the next day, it's all nice and clean. So <clears throat> anyway, so another thing I did was I was their shipping clerk. And so and they also sold wheels, hop-up wheels for go-karts and so uh the wheels uh, each wheel came in two halves, an outside half and an inside half. And so when a company ordered like 100 or 200 wheels, they'd actually get two they'd actually get 400 uh wheels and you you match you'd hook up the outside half and the inside half. And put it on the go-kart well this one company <clears throat> ordered uh, 200 wheels and uh, so I it was big order and I, so it took me a while to get it all together and so that meant I sent out 400 boxes <laughs> 400 wheels I guess you could say anyway as it turned out uh, when they got them they they notified my uh, the company that they had gotten uh, 400 outside wheels <laughs> outside halves so but they were nice and they ordered 400 inside halves and so then that that uh, ended up uh, giving them 400 wheels instead of 200 which they were happy with so um i learned a lot of other lessons as we as we went along there uh, as a shipping clerk i learned about uh, back in, back in those days ups uh was the most economical way to ship by far now, their prices have come up since then, but uh, we, we shipped everything uh, via UPS. And I, so from that, after working there, I always shipped everything UPS. And then finally, uh, you know, FedEx came along and uh, and then UPS has risen, has raised their prices so that it's not, it's not as ridiculous and expensive as it was. So I think we're going to come up to, uh, oh, yeah, I'm switching over to the, to the map and, um, uh, I, there's a plane coming in there and, uh, so I know I heard it. I heard that plane. And so I wanted to catch it, uh, on, on my video. And it looks like he's making a right turn to land at the, uh, Phoenix, uh, Mesa gateway airport, which is about seven miles, well, about eight miles from here. <clears throat> We're right on the edge of the approach, uh, line. So anyway, I wanted to catch that plane, and, and if I would have had the, the sound going, 
uh, on the re, uh, screen recorder, uh, we might have been able to hear him because uh, we, we, we hear him coming in all the time. And then after that, I thought I better fly on home and get to where uh, I'm over the over our house so that uh, uh, <laughs> when it comes time to land, I won't forget that I'm a half a mile away. So anyway, we'll get up here and then I'll go back to uh, to looking at the map and we'll, we'll see quite a few aircraft because... Uh, uh, the area to our right is a training area for new pilots and uh, reviews and re review flights and stuff. So <clears throat> we get a lot of traffic. Plus the entrance to the the entrance to the Phoenix uh, Mesa Airport. So there he is. He's he's at a thousand feet and coming down. As you can see, he's on that on that approach path down to 800 feet. Now eventually he gets so low that I my uh, drone doesn't pick up his transponder anymore. But we've got another plane coming in f up above, and he's only 682 feet above the ground. And then, um, I'm sorry, he's, uh, <laughs> that was the other plane that we were watching. Now, he's, he's uh, 8,678 8, feet, so he's way above us. And then the two coming up, the one on the left is 3,200 feet high, and the one on the right is 2,700 feet high. And you would think that they were close to each other, but I'm going to switch over to uh, satellite view here, and you can see that uh, they're really not very close together. But uh, they seem to be flying exactly the same direction, so uh, they're not in uh, they're not in close formation. And so <clears throat> there you can see um, they're probably uh, oh uh, a couple of miles apart, and uh, the one coming in. Um, on the left, he's at 2,200 feet, and he's coming my direction, and I think I'm going to try to turn the drone. Yeah, now see, he turns yellow. That's what air sense does. When they're coming right over you, when they, before they get too close, it, it zooms in and, and shows that uh, plane as being yellow, which is a caution. But uh, he's, not, he's not headed right over me. Seems to be he's, he's uh, turning a little bit. And the one, the... Um, one on the right, we can't tell how high he is because his uh, data is off the screen, but it'll probably be coming back here. So as as I'm and he's he's turning in. It looks like he's turning into the Phoenix Mesa uh, Airport. Now there's another expansion and a yellow plane coming in. He's headed straight for me. And uh, let me see. I can't. Uh, oh, he's he faded out. So anyway, oh there he is again. Now he's red because he's getting so close. And he's 1,200 feet above me, or 1,200 feet above ground. Down now, he's down to 1,100 feet, and um, so uh, we're, he's uh, <laughs> he's going right over me. And uh, he's uh, let me see, yeah, he's 900 feet above the, the ground, flying right over me. And I heard him, and uh, but the the microphone didn't pick it up. So anyway, we'll do this again sometime. If you like doing this, let me know because I like to watch the airplanes. Uh, I used to be a pilot. There's another one turning yellow as he's headed my direction at 700 and, uh, uh, no, that's 656 feet. Okay. Got to say goodbye because we're coming up to the end of the video, but I want to thank you for watching my videos and God bless.